Jurassic! Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video, I'm going to use the pancreas to explain the difference between endocrine and exocrine glands. So we're in the endocrine system, so we're primarily going to focus on those. So let's start there. So the, the pancreas, when you think of the pancreas, you probably think of insulin, and that's, that's totally fine. But 99% of the pancreas is actually exocrine in nature because it makes digestive enzymes and it makes buffers that neutralize the acid coming from your stomach. So the huge majority of the pancreas is actually an exocrine structure. The 1% of the pancreas that is endocrine is actually the pancreatic islets. They were called the islets of Langerhans when I was a student, and they're going to be producing hormones like insulin and glucagon. So endocrine glands are going to dump chemical messengers into your body fluids. Think about blood prim primarily. So endocrine glands are going to dump secretions into your blood, into being the keyword there. Exocrine glands, so the other 99% of the pancreas that you see here is actually going to be uh, making, making these digestive enzymes and making these buffers. They're going to be dumping their secretions onto surfaces. So I, was, I always think of endocrine glands are going to dump secretions into your body. Exocrine glands are going to dump secretions onto surfaces. So let me give you some examples and we'll come back to the pancreas. So here we see just different types of glands. You have, we have, we have intestinal glands making digestive enzymes. We just mentioned those. Uh, the sebaceous glands of the skin that, that produce sebum, the oil on your body, uh, would be a good example. Your sweat glands are also going to be exocrine glands. Because So think about their dumping secretions onto your surfaces. So I think it makes sense. All of your skin glands that are dumping secretions onto your skin are going to be exocrine. But let's go back to their picture. You have to remember something here to understand that these are exocrine glands, that your GI tract is a hollow tube traveling through your body, right? It's actually not inside of you. It's a, it's a hollow tube traveling through you. Like if you were going through a, a, a tunnel through a mountain, you're not in the mountain, right? You're not part of the mountain. You're, you're a tube traveling through it. So the, the contents that are inside your GI tract, like your you know, fecal material uh, prior to defecation, that's outside your body. So you just you have to envision this hollow tube running through you. So all of your digestive glands are going to be exocrine. They're going to dump their secretions onto a surface, but the surface is just the the lining of the intestine. So you can see here all the um, the ducts that are going to grab those secretions and dump them into the duodenum in this case. That's the other key thing. Endocrine glands are ductless. They don't have ducts. Exocrine glands do have ducts. All right, so endocrine glands, no ducts, dump their secretions into your blood, into your body fluids. Exocrine glands do use ducts, and they're going to dump their secretions onto surfaces. Think your skin and then the hollow tube running through your body, your gastrointestinal tract. All right, I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.